don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't chase after money. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying you shouldn't desire financial freedom. By all means, desire financial freedom. You need it. I desire financial freedom. I have plans to be a multi-millionaire and a multi-billionaire someday. I mean, especially in the generation we live in today, where money answers all things. I mean, even the scripture confirms that. The money answers all things. So I'm not saying you shouldn't desire financial freedom. I'm only trying to tell you how you shouldn't go about it. Don't chase after money. It doesn't work that way. What does it say? <laughs> it says labor not to be rich. Don't fix your eyes on the wealth. For soon, money picks up wings and flies to the heaven. You don't obtain wealth by being obsessed about it. So what am I trying to say to you? This is it. Don't chase after money. Chase after passion. Add value to your pursuit of passion and soon money will begin to chase after you. Listen, there's nothing you want in life that somebody doesn't already have. There's nothing new under the sun. There's no achievement you want today that somebody hasn't obtained already. So I think the wisest thing to do is when you have a desire, for instance, to be wealthy, it's wisdom to learn from those who has obtained the kind of wealth you desire and apply some of the principles they applied. So let's go back down history lane and see, well, let's see a couple of people who has done so. Let's go back way back to Bible days, the likes of King David and King Solomon. Now, relax. I know some of you are not familiar with Bible stories. So let's, let's try to bring it a couple thousand years closer to the likes of John D. Rockefeller, Andrew Carnegie, Thomas Edison, Henry Ford. And maybe you're not a good history student. Let's bring it even closer to recent times, to the likes of Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. When you study these men, you would come to realize that as wealthy as they are, they did not obtain their wealth by pursuing money. They obtained their wealth by pursuing passion. What are you passionate about? Don't be concerned about uh, how much can I make from me though. Don't ask that question right away. Find out what it is you're passionate about, whether it's music, whether it's real estate, it could be something as simple as teaching high school students or middle school students. It could be something as simple as even being a gardener, an interior designer. What is it that you're passionate about? Find out what that thing is and commit yourself to it. Don't be concerned about how much you can make from it. Now, of course, when we look at, say, Bill Gates, when he was in his garage or in his room trying to design Microsoft, now some part of his mind must have informed him that, hey, young man, if you succeed in this thing, you would make a whole lot of money from it. But you would come to realize that the reason why, in spite of the obstacles he faced on his journey, why he persisted is because he loved what he did. Or what he does he was passionate about it Henry Ford was passionate about cars when he made the V8 engine everybody told him it was not going to work engines don't come in that form he wasn't trying to oh let me get this done because if I get it done I'm gonna make so much money from it no he was like I'm gonna get this done because I want to I love it find out your passion go after it you see, because the greatest resistance to the critics, the greatest resistance to challenges and the obstacles you will face in the pursuit of your goals comes from the obsession and the emotional attachment you have to your passion, not from your desire to make wealth. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that some people have not focused all their attention on becoming rich and obtained it. But the thing about it is when you obsessed about wealth, at the expense of your passion, you miss out on some of the very best things in life, like relationship, the beauty of nature, friendship, family. Go after 
passion. The question comes, what next? What, what, do you, what do you do next once you find out what your passion is? Step two, add value to that. Listen, money recognizes worth. Money recognizes value. It has no respect for personality. It has no respect for your demeanor. It recognizes worth and value. So when you find out your passion, let's say you love making music. Let's, let's pick that as an example. Now go after it. But don't stop there because that's where most people stop at. They're like, okay, I love to do this. I love to teach. I'm teaching and oh, that's fine. No, you don't stop there. You add value to it. Find out people who are better, better than you at what you do. Use them as a target. Try and beat them at their game. Become the best in your field. And I'm telling you, the money will set you out. Even if you're hiding in a cave, it will set you out. The money will come and hunt you down. Why? Because money recognizes value. You know, one of my mentors told me a story one time. He said a man walked into his office and gave him a huge sum of money as a gift. He just handed it over to him. And before he did that, the, the, the young man told my mentor and said, listen, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like your personality. I don't like your demeanor, but I just want to give you this. I feel like I feel like I need to give you this. See, the question is why? I mean, you don't like the man, yet you're pouring money into him. Why? Why do you do that? Well, it's because money has no respect for personality. He has no respect for your demeanor. It has respect for worth and value. The young man knew that even though he didn't like this man's personality, he knew that the man had some worth. He knew that the man had value in what he did, that the man was making impact in people's lives. Now, I hear some people say, I don't like Walmart. You don't like Walmart, but you still go there and pour your money into them. You still buy things and shop there. Why? Because you know they're offering value. And the more they try to offer more value, it doesn't matter how much you hate them. You would still pour your money into them. So what do you do? Find out your passion. When you find out what your passion is, Add value to that. Become the best in your field. Be better than everybody else that does the same thing you do. And that money would come like a flood. Napoleon Hill once said, when you unlock the keys to financial prosperity, to wealth and abundance, when you unlock the, key, when you unlock the door, you find the key to it. It says the riches will begin to pour in so, will begin to pour in so quickly that you would wonder, where it was all this while. Listen. You want it? Go for it. Don't let anything stand in your way. It's that simple. The profit of the earth is for every single person here. You want it? Go for it. Don't quit. <laughs> this is true. This is true. As always, remember to stay inspired. Cheers.